Coffee, 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 coffee. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? CJ Nerve here, bright and early in the morning. So today we're gonna continue looking at blasters in the Alpha Strike series, and we're gonna focus on the Cobra RC6. Cheers, guys. Good morning. Ugh, guys, you ever have one of those days where every cup of coffee you have is better than the last one? God, my Keurig is killing it today. I'm loving it. But I digress. Let's get back to the Cobra here. Guys, this is a spring-powered, rear-prime, six-shot capacity blaster. So let's get this thing out on the range, the chronograph, and let's check dart compatibility, and then get back to you with the results. Here we go, guys. Cobra, max effective range. Fence is 50, so we're looking at 50 to about Almost 60 on a couple shots, all right? So not bad on the max effective range for the Cobra. Of course, I got one puddle in my driveway from my morning irrigation and three darts actually found it. Quickly transitioning over to max range with the blue AccuFakes, we're looking at anywhere from 62 to 69 feet. So admirable performance from the Cobra. All right, my friends, we obviously know that the Elite darts and the AccuFake darts work. We're gonna test dart compatibility with Busby Precision Pro, Zuru, and the dart zone waffle heads, and we're gonna shoot the bottles and the rival target. Hopefully I'll hit one. Yeah, they do break. Kinda cool. Those were the dart zone waffle heads. Let's switch to the Busby Precision Pro. Now Zuru X shot darts. All right, my friends, the results are in. As you can tell by the chronograph test, this is actually performing pretty decent. Coming in at about 66 feet per second, I got nothing to really complain about in the grand scheme of things about the performance. As far as the aesthetics of the blaster and the overall feel and stuff, I still have some certain complaints. One, I don't like the grip, and I, this is gonna be a constant theme on the Alpha Strike blasters in particular. I went over this in the Fang as well. The more you play with this blaster, the harder you squeeze it in the heat of battle, you are gonna get lines on your hands, which is gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. Two, the trigger pull on this blaster is actually considerably better than the Fang, and I actually like it a little bit more, to be honest with you. It's not as weird feeling as it is on the Fang and less snap fire-ish. Is that even a word? But I do have the same complaint as far as the darts in the front. They do stick out a little bit too far for my liking, which tends in the heat of battle. Again, you're gonna bend them, possibly having dart damage down the road. My friends, I really just wanna be clear about something because I know when I start doing more of these Alpha Strike uh, videos, a lot of people are gonna probably think that I'm hating on the entire line. And honestly, I'm a very positive person in real life as well as on my YouTube channel. I don't really go out of my way to slam anything, okay? Um, I always, if I do find something that's not working properly, I always try to bring you guys alternatives. That's one of the appeals, I think, of my channel. The fact that I'll give you the perspective from a five-year-old as well as an adult, and I'm trying to get you the best value to save money and to not waste your money. That's why I encourage people to subscribe if you're new to this channel and if this is like the first video you're seeing. So in this instance, for a $9.99 price tag, although the blaster performs, I'm not gonna say it doesn't. If you like a blaster that shoots a little bit under whatever standard Nerf Elite um, ranges are, which is normally 70 to 73 feet per second, this is just a tad shy under that. And honestly, out of the Alpha Strike blasters that I've done so far, between the Fang and the Cobra, I would actually choose this over the Fang. Um, but I'd be remiss and it would be irresponsible of me if I didn't come to you and explain about other options in this kind of price range, which I honestly feel are better. So I'm going to do that in this next segment and I hope I don't offend a whole lot of people out there, but I really am just trying to give you guys all the information so you can make educated buying decisions. Okay guys, the one thing that you hear me complain about, especially with the Fang and the Cobra, is how far the darts stick out at the end and the fact that when you're loading them, you'll bend them and possibly have dart damage over time. Well, if you really take a look at, for instance, one that's in its category, the darts on Blitzfire. There's a difference between how far the darts stick out. It may be a little bit subtle, but overall, it's more confident loading this one with less dart damage than this one. And the same will go for the Elite Disruptor. 
and the Zuru X-Shot Reflex 6. Now, if you look at the grip between this and the Dart Zone grip, it looks considerably comfortable, and it is considerably more comfortable. Same goes for the Disruptor, as well as the Zuru X-Shot Reflex 6. The primes are all a little bit different. A T-grip on this one, you have a little ring they can lock their finger into on the X-Shot one, you have a slide prime on the Dart Zone Blitzfire, and you have a slide prime on the Disruptor. Now, when we try to break down price points, this is kind of where I want you to understand. You're looking at $9.99 for the Cobra, and you're going to get two bottle targets with this. You can pick up the Disruptor for pretty much about $10 if you find it on sale. It has slam fire, which means if you hold the trigger and pump the blaster, you can kind of do a rapid fire with it. Now it does have a one shot less capacity. It has five as opposed to six, but it is a fantastic option and I really like this blaster and it's simple to prime. It doesn't really have a lot of prime weight to it. Now the blaster actually comes in at about 73 feet per second on the chronograph, which is about six feet per second faster than that of the code. Now when we move on to the Dart Zone Blitzfire 2 pack, you're looking with a pop-up site with extra dart storage, a top slide prime, Tactical rail up on top, six shot capacity, very comfortable grip, and for the two pack, you're gonna pay $14.99. Now, when you're looking at feet per second, this is the most powerful blaster out of this entire group. You're looking at 83 feet per second with elite darts right out of the box. So, performance, value, and comfort, these are pretty cool. Keep in mind, it does take a little bit more strength to prime. But if your son and daughter are able to do it, this is a great alternative at a nice value. Now when we move on to the Zuru X-Shot Reflex 6, you're looking at $14.99 for a two-pack of these. You have a six-shot capacity. You have the same type of prime, basically. It's a ring as opposed to a T-grip. Comfort is there, simple to prime. And honestly, this thing comes in at 80 feet per second on the chronograph. So, I mean, you're looking at 67, 80 feet per second, 83 feet per second, or 73 feet per second. There's a wide variety of choices out there, and I'm not saying any of them are bad. You just have to tailor it and suit it to you and your needs. Look, if you're gonna go out to the store and pick up a quick gift for a kid's birthday party that your son is going to or your daughter's going to, hey man, what kid's not gonna like this? So if you do like the Cobra, go get it. I'm not telling you not to. I just wanna make you aware of all the other competition in the same category or group and some of them are just a few dollars more and you're gonna get basically two times the value. So overall, the decision is yours. My job is to bring all that information to you.